Hey Joe, it's Folks here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you seven reasons why you should use Shopify instead of any other print-on-demand platform or uh, place where you can start a print-on-demand store. We'll jump into the video right after this. All right, so the first reason is on Shopify, you're building your own brand. You literally have the ability to create your own identity as a store. On any of these other platforms like Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, etc., you are essentially just another seller on those platforms. You are building their brand rather than your own. And when you build your own brand, that opens up the potential for so much more. You can build social media pages that that link back to your store and someday you could even turn around and easily sell your store on a service like the Shopify store exchange since I have started print on demand I have grown several successful print on demand stores if you are not a member of the POD ninjas Facebook group there's a link down in the description from time to time I make posts like this here where I show a whole bunch of results from stores that I'm working on and I try to do my best to give tips uh, in regards to strategies that are working right now so there's a link down in the description if you guys want to join that group but like I said the first reason is on Shopify you are building your own brand and honestly the ceiling is just going to be much higher for you the second reason is the fee structure now a lot of people make a big deal about the $29 a month that Shopify is going to charge you but here is the thing a lot of these other platforms they may be free to just create an account however you're going to accumulate a lot of fees if you begin to make sales. For example, if you're on Etsy, you're going to be charged a listing fee and then also various fees associated with any sales that you're making. And then in the long run, you're going to end up just spending more on fees in general than you would if you were on Shopify, spending just the $29 a month. And honestly, this might upset some of you, but if you can't afford $29 a month and that is going to be the main reason why you are not using Shopify, then maybe Maybe this is not a great business model for you because at the end of the day, you have to spend a little bit of money. I'm not saying you need to have thousands, but if a $29 expense is going to be the only reason why you're not going to use Shopify, then maybe you should rethink becoming some sort of an entrepreneur. In addition to fees, a lot of these other platforms have relatively strict rules when it comes to uh, comparing those to Shopify. On a Shopify print on demand store, you can essentially sell whatever you want. The only time I have ever seen someone actually get shut down on a Shopify store is when they were selling something that clearly violated some sort of trademark or a copyright. Meaning if you are going to create a store and start selling Mickey Mouse items, there's a good chance that you might actually get in trouble for doing so. And even if you're on Shopify, maybe someone at Disney could contact Shopify and have your store closed. Although even that would be pretty rare in my experience, although I am not condoning going and selling Mickey Mouse items. What I'm talking about is a lot of the issues that people see when they sell on a place like Amazon or even Etsy. I have heard horror stories on Etsy where someone creates a design and they start selling it and they're super excited. And then all of a sudden they get a copyright notification where someone else is claiming that they are own the design that they are selling. What I mean is, I've actually heard stories where people have launched a design on Etsy, started to make sales, and then another store actually ripped the design off and then filed a trademark claim on the original owner, and then their site on Etsy is just shut down without anything they can do about it. And I know that might be a little bit of a extreme example and something that is a little bit rare, but in general, there are a lot of people who have faced policy issues on places like Etsy or even Amazon. The point being, when you're on Shopify, you have very little risk of ever running into an issue when it comes to some sort of a policy that you may uh, or may not have even violated. Violated. Reason number four has a lot to do with the products that you can actually sell. One of the coolest parts of print on demand is being able to just choose from so many different product types. There are literally 
tons of product categories, everything from apparel to home goods and a whole bunch of other things that are super cool. Years ago, the only thing that was available was really just like t-shirts, hats, mugs, and hoodies. And nowadays we can sell everything from print on demand jewelry all the way to skateboards that you put on the wall. If you guys wanna see the products that I like, I have a video series on my channel uh, titled the top 50 print on demand products. I will link it in the first comment of this post you guys can check it out but one of the problems with selling on some of these other platforms whether it be Redbubble, Teespring, Amazon, Etsy, whatever a lot of the print-on-demand suppliers that carry these really awesome products are actually not able to be integrated with those services meaning if you're using them you might be limited in terms of the products that you can actually sell now one of the most common reasons why I hear people say well Joe I want to just sell on Amazon or Joe I'm gonna start a Redbubble store or Joe, I'm going to start an Etsy store is that they're looking for something that they view as easy, easy in the sense of, well, if I just start one of these stores, I can just upload my designs. It's relatively free to get started. Uh, and I can just rely on organic traffic from the platform that I'm using. And while this might seem super attractive, once you actually start doing it, you will see that it's not as easy. Now, I am by no means a seasoned Etsy or Amazon seller. I have just talked to literally dozens of people that have started print on demand stores on these platforms and they have found it incredibly difficult to actually get people to see their product. One of the main reasons for this is first and foremost that a platform like Etsy, for example, is just so uh, saturated, meaning there's just so many different sellers that are on that platform selling products uh, in the niches that you might want to try. And what's going to happen is when you begin uploading your designs, you're just going to be up against thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of other sellers, depending on your niche. And as a new Etsy shop, for example, it's going to be difficult to get your products to rank in front of theirs. Meaning if I go on Etsy and I type in some sort of a niche and product combo in the search, there's a good chance that your listing, because you're on a new Etsy shop, is going to be on like page six or something like that, and I'm never even going to see you. If I'm going to make an order, it's likely gonna be from someone on the first page. And this sort of opens up a, a larger reason here, which is the main strategy behind what it is you are doing. I am someone who has a one product away mentality, which essentially means that my goal is to create a great, print on demand product, meaning I want to go and I want to choose a great niche. I then want to choose the perfect product that that niche is just going to love. And then I want to create a design that is just awesome. And my goal is to just scale that thing in as many different places as I can, whether it be with a Facebook ad, an Instagram influencer post, or even Instagram ads. And the problem with platforms is they are not super friendly to you doing that. You're actually going to be be a little bit limited, right? You would never actually run a Facebook ad to an Etsy shop. You would also never partner with uh, an Instagram influencer and have them send people to uh, your Etsy shop. There's nothing saying you couldn't do it. I just don't see the strategy being done a lot. And I think that if we think about the customer journey, that when someone clicks a link and they're ending up on an Etsy shop, they might not actually order because maybe they've never ordered anything from Etsy before. Maybe they don't have an account there, etc. Uh, it's just a it's just a weird way to actually sell a product. Another thing you can't do is when you're on one of these platforms. Let's say you're on Redbubble or Amazon, you're not going to be able to engage with your customer base, meaning there's no way for you to send promotional marketing to them in the form of an email, maybe even a text message. And honestly, a lot of the most successful stores rely heavily on that traffic source being following up directly with their audience. One of the key things that I do with print on demand stores is I create social media followings for my store and then I'm able to sort of post promotions and I'm not saying you couldn't do that with an Etsy shop or an Amazon store. Uh, it's just not as cool, right? You're not actually sending them to a brand, which was one of the reasons that I talked about earlier for using Shopify. Now, everything here 
in this video today are things that I've always thought were great reasons to use Shopify, but I actually got them, uh, someone inside of the POD Ninjas group, I'm going to put their post on uh, the screen right now. They made a great comment where they actually listed out all this stuff. And I just wanted to make a video uh, highlighting what she said, but also I found it just a great way to lay out some solid reasons. The last reason that she talked about for using Shopify was that sometimes when she's been in an Etsy community or something like that, uh, she feels as if she's being ridiculed because she's doing print on demand. A lot of the people on Etsy are handcrafting things or they are printing products themselves or making something from scratch. And she mentioned that at times she had felt like she was being ridiculed or even trolled in the past uh, because of uh, her taking a print on demand approach to actually selling uh, her products. I guess really if I was to summarize it, right? Since I started Print On Demand in 2016, I've been able to create some pretty amazing products that I've been able to scale uh, through some of the things that I talked about today, whether it's a paid ad on Facebook or Instagram or through generating organic traffic on a site like Pinterest or even Instagram as well. You can generate organic traffic there using or, uh, Instagram influencers as well, uh, plus email and SMS marketing, right? So text messages. I just honestly feel like no matter what, uh, type of background you have, you're going to have a much better chance of success by going on Shopify, right? Because when we really break it down, what is success, right? What does success mean? That literally just means generating consistent, profitable sales, right? To me, that that's what it means, right? And I'm not talking about being able to make like a few sales a week. I'm talking about trying to make like dozens of sales per week. And if you're going to try that on a platform like Amazon, Redbubble, right? And rely on that organic traffic, even Etsy, you're going to need to put in a lot of, of work, right? Because really when it comes to platforms and places that give you organic traffic, the idea and the goal would be to try and create like hundreds of designs, right? I have this video here on my channel where I talk about this, where on these other platforms, the goal is to try and create as many designs as possible uh, and hopefully get like 5% of them to sell on a regular basis. Meaning if you had 500 designs and you got 5% to sell on a regular basis, you're going to be looking at about 25 sales per week, which is great, right? I would much rather do that on Shopify, but instead of creating 500 designs, I'm going to create like four really good ones, try to get each one of them to sell like five times a week, right? Once a day, right? and be able to make the same amount of sales through SMS, email, ads, organic, and then Instagram influencers, right? I just honestly think that the ceiling uh, is much higher. And if you're new to my channel and you're someone that is like on Etsy, or maybe even if you're on Amazon or Redbubble, or even if you were planning to go on one of those platforms and anything I said today makes you sort of second guess that, I have a free course in the description of this video. You guys can check it out. You can start. It's literally over 20 step-by-step -step videos to show you exactly how to get started with Shopify and Facebook and Instagram marketing. So check that out. The link is down in the description. Also, make sure to join the POD Ninjas Facebook Facebook group if you haven't. There's a link for that down in the description uh, as well. You'll get a whole bunch more print on demand content uh, from me in there. So uh, that's really my take uh, for, for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.